I have a problem with what we did last time. What's the problem? What if we have three lines intersecting? That's crossing, right? Yes. What if all three do it in the same point? What about the angles then? Let's name the angles. We have six, so we'll call them alpha, epsilon, zeta, gamma, eta, and theta. What happened to belta and delta? Why do I need to learn all these new Greek letters? Because we'll use beta and delta later, you'll see. Now, what is the sum of the three angles alpha, epsilon, and zeta? I see it is half a circle. 180 degrees, just like last time. Exactly. Can you do the rest of the proof? Sure. Alpha plus epsilon plus zeta is 180 degrees because it is one side of the line A. But epsilon plus zeta plus gamma is also 180 degrees because it's one side of the line B, right? That's right. So if we remove e epsilon and zeta from both sides, we get that alpha is equal to gamma, exactly the same as last time. Excellent job, but there is a simpler proof. A simpler proof? How? This is as simple as proof can be. You see this line here, see? Yes. Ignore it, erase it. Let's call epsilon and zeta together beta and call eta and theta together delta and just not pay line C any attention. Can we do that? Sure, there is an infinite number of lines that go through any point. We can't keep track of all of them, so we just ignore the ones we don't care about. But now it looks exactly the same as what we did last time. Exactly. This is a very common mathematical trick. It is often easier to just take a problem and turn it into a problem we already solved. Hooray for laziness!